Alright, that, uh, that track was entitled The Answer. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm T Dig to Dias Game. Um, yeah, I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, one thing, the next thing I want to do is acapella. Um, it's no music, it's acapella. Uh, I want to talk about a problem in our culture that is oftentimes uh, looked over. Particularly because I'm here at this high school, you know, uh, I want to target this at, I'm going to say 14 through age 21. This problem that I speak about is this relationship issue. Uh, me being in high school myself, I'm well aware of this issue. But the main problem is that people get in these relationships and don't realize the sin that's tagged along with it. Now, what I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying don't go get a relationship. That's between you and you. But what I'm saying is, is your, if your relationship is put before God, that's the problem that I want to speak about. So, real quick, for an example, just to give you an overview, let's say Sue meets Joe, right? Um, Sue likes Joe, Joe likes Sue, whatever. So, from that point on, Joe has been on Sue's mind from, let's say, Monday through Friday. Uh, this percentage, we're going we're gonna to use numbers. I'm sure everybody uses the same numbers. So, Monday through Friday, if Joe is on Sue's mind 100% of the time, what percentage is God? You feel me? You heard that, right? If 100% of Sue's mind is devoted to Joe, where does God come in? That's the first sin. That's worshiping an idol, whether you want to admit it or not. Right? I don't, I don't even think I have to go any deeper because then we start going and what happens behind closed doors because of these relationships. But point being is whether you want to admit it or not, a relationship, a relationship without Christ is wrong, period. Because it's sin. There's nothing I can say about it. So, real quick, I just want to hit an acapella one for you. Y'all ready? Love is a miseducated subject. It's educated without substance. And she yearns for that love, but don't misinterpret. She finds herself in tears. She's drowned in her own sorrows. And she longs for a savior, but she postpones her destiny for tomorrow. She beats one guy, gives her heart to another. Every well-dressed stranger she mistakes for being a lover. And she got a group of friends who she mistakes for being a mother. Not concerned about God, but just focused on a significant other. She draws the same box of, per box of no, she draws the same pictures with the same box of crayons, just different colors. And it's far from the Mona Lisa, but she wants none other. These pictures and these dudes, they all look the same, because every dude just wants sex, and he's just trying to spit game. And it's a shame, because the makeup and skirts is only for the breakup which hurts. But the breakup and the makeup never would have occurred if you knew Christ first. Let the truth run free. There is no unspoken word. You dig in a deeper hole, new ditch with the same dirt. So I know you lost in the box. Wonder when these mind games is gonna stop. But you gotta see Christ first, and God will show you him. God, he will show you him. Stop trapping yourself in this messed up box. The mind games and stuff has gotta stop. You just gotta give it to God. Give it to God, leave it alone. Give it to God. Jumping from relationship to relationship, reality never hit that every dude you've been with just wants to get a grip on your hips. And whether or not you like it, you're not even trying to fight it. You might even get excited. You call it love, have a party in your heart, but Christ is not invited. You know this dude cheating. You know this dude cheating. You may heard from him all weekend, but you made yourself feel like you need him, when really you need vision. And I understand you're supposed to be an independent woman, but even the most independent of women needs God's friendship. Or maybe you're friendless. Well, I'm a witness that you're carrying too much baggage like you're lacking on the fitness. You and God are at a distance, but you and this guy are on a mission. Note to self, 40% of teenage women are pregnant. So it sets in, and the wind blows. And you put your guard up, but every house has got windows. I know it's not this simple. 
But if you want to fill the void, then you got to let him go. So I know you lost in the box. Wonder when these mind games going to stop. Just got to seek Christ first. God will show you him. God, he will show you him. Stop trapping yourself in this messed up box. The mind games and stuff has got to stop. You just got to give it to God. Give it to God. Leave it alone. Give it to God. I do know the answer. And I do know the issue. And I do know that this lifestyle don't fit you. This should hit you. Don't let this miss you. God got that sniper rifle, so I'm pretty sure it's going to hit you. But if this misses you, examine the issue. Examine the consequences as he's starting to kiss you. Examine the breaches in the hole. Look at yourself. This is you. And you can't cry to your man because he won't cry with you. But don't cry with him if you can't swim. And I guarantee you can't swim if you ain't got him, Christ. If love is what you call this, then your definition is leaking. And while you fishing on my space, love still ain't self-seeking. So if you find yourself clicking on the six-pack and dreadlocks, then you're well aware of your downfall, just like Tupac. Guilty as charged. Maybe you can prove me wrong. But while you were so darn stranger, this dude's love is gone. Like I said, the title of that one is called Lost in the Box. I pray that I, mean, I pray that those words touch somebody's heart and opens their eyes to what's going on in our culture. Because something has to be done. There's too much going on. Amen.